All right, I'm going to show you how to run a vertical chase in a SIP panel, a structural insulated panel. What I have here is the location next to the door where we want the switch. The wires have to come in from the top side of the wall. There is no vertical chase in this SIP panel, so I'm going to have to produce one. Notice that I've made a opening at the top of the panel, and from there I was able to bore from the uh, top of the wall to make an access into that hole that I, I created. Now what I'm going to do is make a chase from that upper access hole to the switch. And here's some of the tools that I'm going to be using. It's a one inch steel ball bearing, a small propane torch, a little sheet of tin made into a scoop, and a pot to catch the uh, hot ball bearing. So the process is simple. You heat up the ball bearing with the torch, drop it into the upper hole, and let gravity pull the hot ball bearing down through the foam, melting a path, until it hits the little chute, drops into the bucket, if everything works fine. So I'm going to turn this off a minute while I prepare, and we'll and just be start back. in a minute. Okay. I opted for a little better device for holding the ball bearing. And right now I'm heating it up over just a simple plumber's propane torch. It gets just hot enough. When the ball bearing melts through the foam, it leaves a nice round one inch hole. The only drawbacks is you're limited to gravity. It generally goes straight down. It's a little bit faster if you have an oxygen acetylene torch, but you can get it too hot and it can cause uh, some, some problems. All right, so I'm gonna let this heat up a little bit more and be back in a minute. Okay, I'm getting ready to test it for heat. What I found is if the little pieces of foam stick to it, it's probably not quite hot enough. It should just melt them away like that. That looks pretty good. All right, give me a second to turn this off. Okay, and here we go. If it works as planned, we'll have a nice chase down there. Burning down. If you if the ball bearing's too hot, you'll actually you'll see a lot of smoke and sometimes flames out of the top hole. Um, it's it helps if you cover up that top hole with a damp rag. It keeps the smoke in and it keeps any oxygen out that might uh, benefit flames. Ball bearing and the hole. Thank you for your support.